Many of the best Trackmania players in the world have been cheating. Bombshell Report accused multiple players of cheating for their records. He cheated to beat a guy who beat his record who was cheating to beat his records. Seven well-known pros had used external software to slow down their games. Trabadia confessed to cheating. And then another player confessed. And another player. And even more. You have 500 different runs and you literally cheated all of them. In May of 2021, Trackmania had a massive cheating scandal, where five of the top 10 players on the solo leaderboards were found to be setting their records illegitimately, playing the game in slow motion so they could reach inhuman levels of precision. It's been two years since these events happened, and you might wonder, what was the aftermath of it all? Well, when the dust finally cleared and the cheaters were removed, a new Trackmania champion rose to the top. But there was just one problem. Nobody had heard of him before. Who on earth was 92 Bob? In October of 2020, it was discovered that Trackmania's replay files, which are used to claim records on the leaderboards, also contain the exact inputs a player did in their run. When you watch a replay file, you're effectively just watching the game play back every action you made, input by input. Donadigo decided to develop a tool that would display inputs from player speedruns, and at first it seemed to be working flawlessly. But when watching the records of top players such as Riolu or Techno, the input display would sometimes pass out completely, with frantic tapping movements from side to side that seemed inhuman. Donadigo thought that there might be a bug somewhere in his code. But the more he looked into it, he couldn't see anything wrong. For every other player, the input display worked just fine, and it only went manic on certain players' ghosts. It dawned on him that the source of the issue could stem directly from the players, since all his tool did was read what information was in the replay file and displaying it in the game. An investigation was eventually started into seeing whether or not these records were potentially cheated by playing the game in slow motion. Playing Trackmania in slow motion would give you a massive advantage. On tracks that are only 20 seconds long, which have been grinded for over a decade, higher precision is the only way to improve further. By slowing down the game speed, you can take turns with way more finesse, while having superhuman reaction times and making microscopic adjustments wherever necessary. In such a competitive time attack format, it is absolutely insane how much of an advantage it would prove to be and until Dunadigo made his tool, it would have been completely undetectable. GG, GG, okay, I, okay, I beat it, I beat, I beat Riolu, I fucking beat Riolu, Riolu is dead, Riolu is fucking dead! The top players suspected of large-scale cheating this way were Riolu, Techno, Lunz, Nico, Trabadia, and Vince. But the first two had a vastly larger number of records with fast inputs. All of this eventually brings us to May of 2021, when Donadigo and I were getting ready to publish our report on the findings. But not before Riolu started a live stream to debunk the claims. I'd urge you to think carefully about the tone you speak in, as it might just make things worse when the report comes out. If you'd like to speak about this privately instead, then I'm open for it. Brother! Jesus Christ, that's blackmailing if I've ever seen one. In this now infamous livestream, he was clearly panicking. Riolu had built a career as a Trackmania streamer and content creator on top of countless cheated records, and now all the skeletons in his closet were finally catching up to him. It is hard to say why Riolu acted in this way, but it's likely he had become so disillusioned with his cheating that he was convinced he hadn't done anything wrong. This is present in his final Discord conversations, where he is still clamoring to his innocence. And that's the last thing the public ever heard from Riolu. Well, kind of. He was seen a few days later in an interview that had been recorded several weeks prior, on the YouTube channel GTV. GTV were just about as unfortunate as one can get with their timing. They were clueless about the whole cheating scandal and released their video at the worst possible time. Das Spiel so weit optimiert, dass man wirklich an die Limits kommt, dass man teilweise 10, 20 Stunden an derselben Strecke sitzt, um einfach dieses Ergebnis zu erzielen. Ist natürlich etwas, das 
hat nicht jeder im Blut, nicht jeder hat die Motivation, das zu machen. Ich denke, das ist selbstverständlich, dass nicht jeder äh, sowas, dass nicht jeder die Geduld einfach dafür hat. Das, das kann ich absolut nachvollziehen. Aber für mich äh, war das irgendwie von Anfang an da, weil ich irgendwo auch ein Perfektionist bis, bin bei vielen Sachen. Und äh, ich wollte einfach den Ranglisten äh, erst, ich wollte der Erste sein. Das war einfach die Motivation. Once GTV realized, the video was unlisted. And apart from that little incident, nobody has heard anything from Riolu. The most likely scenario is that he put the controller down and uninstalled the game, realizing it was easier to leave everything behind than trying to clean up his mess. In July of 2021, Ubisoft Nadeo did a thorough investigation into cheating on the leaderboards, and they found and removed over 5,800 records that had been driven in slow motion. After the leaderboards were cleaned up, there was plenty of activity in a new battle to reach the top. And the clear favorite to hold rank 1 was Race Hans, who had been one of Riolu's and Techno's closest opponents this entire time they cheated. Only difference is, he had been playing perfectly legit. And while Race Hans did hold the top spot for a bit, a new player was quickly climbing up the ladder, quicker than anyone had ever seen. That player was 92 Bob and nobody had heard of him before. The 92Bob account was registered in 2008, and played somewhat actively until 2009, but by no means setting any crazy records. Bob's final presence was in 2014, where afterwards the account went inactive for the next 7 years, only to start playing again at the exact time that all of Trackmania's biggest cheaters got exposed. And miraculously, Bob was all of a sudden setting insane world records on official tracks, and competing with the best. Top Trackmania players are usually happy to see new names doing well, as they recognize the grind and effort it takes to get there. But almost immediately, most players could tell there was something off about Bob. The account went from having less than 10 million leaderboard points in March of 2021, to 36 million in July, and it was continuing to climb quickly all the while having no contact with anyone in the community. Many questions about Bob started surfacing. People were throwing around accusations of smurfing, cheating, and even entire teams of players all ranking up the same account to get it to the top as fast as possible. At one point, the mystery of who Bob was led most of the top players to change their names, forming somewhat of a Bob cult on the leaderboard. Eventually, in October of 2021, 92 Bob took the top spot in the world with 130 million points. The community wanted answers from the developers, since it really wasn't fun to compete when nobody knew anything about 92Bob, or if the account was even legit. And Ubisoft Nadeo came back with some answers, but nothing that satisfied the curiosity, since they couldn't reveal much about Bob without breaching the person's privacy. The only things they could confirm was that they had been in contact with the person, that it was a single person and not a team of players, that the records were legitimate, else they would have been removed, and lastly, confirming that any previous cheaters were allowed to make a new account and play on it, as infractions only applied to accounts and not to the people who made them. This only added more confusion and mystery, and people only got more curious to get to the bottom of it. Many were suspecting that Bob was actually the smurf account of Nico, since the account was playing almost exclusively maps that Nico would excel at. But Nico himself was adamant that it wasn't him. And seeing as he was one of the first cheaters that came forth and confessed to it, it seemed unlikely that he would now lie about having a smurf account. If anything, having the rank 1 account in the world would be something to brag about. But as Bob set records while Nico was on vacation, he was finally out of the question. So if Bob wasn't Nico, then who was it? Since it seemed like Nadeo weren't giving out any more details, the community took it upon themselves to solve the mystery, and they came up with a few possible scenarios. Number one, it could be someone who had discovered a new way of cheating, undetected by the competitive patch the players were using, and it wasn't uncommon at the time that people would try to bypass the competitive patch, sort of as a challenge. Scenario number two is that it could be a legitimate player who wanted to troll the community. For a while, there was speculation that Bob could be the professional player Aurel, but Aurel had been so busy playing Trackmania esports that it's hard to imagine he found time to troll on a secondary account as a side project. To add to that, in a similar Smurf account instance from 2020, 
Aurel claimed he would only play on his main account, making this scenario far less likely. Some people also suspected it could be the player Black Q, who was an infamous troll in Trackmania United, but he seemed more than busy enough playing on his main account as well. Then there's the third scenario, cheaters who got exposed making a fresh account to start grinding on again. Nico was out of the picture, but what about Techno, Riolu, Trabadia, or Lance? Techno, when asked about the account, said that it wasn't him, and that he was disinterested in Trackmania as a whole. Riolu was still radio silent and impossible to get a hold of. Trabadia had stopped competing for Wreckers entirely and mostly gone to making tool-assisted speedruns. And seeing as the Bob account was primarily gaining leaderboards in the coast environment, and Trabadia was by far best at Stadium, it made it all the more unlikely that it was him. As for Lance, he had quit competing for Trekmania United Records, and his team Airven could vouch for him that he wasn't 92 Bob. The more that people looked into it, the more the signs were pointing towards 92 Bob being Riolu, since there didn't seem like there was anyone else who had the skill, the incentive and motivation to make a secondary account to compete for World Records anonymously. Moreover, people had actually cited Riolu online in Trackmania Nations Forever, through the Xbox app Fence List. It was quite a regular occurrence and as early as only two weeks after the cheating report. This showed that he was at least still playing Trackmania Nations Forever, and if he wasn't posting new records on his main account, then what exactly was he doing in-game? If 92Bob turned out to be Riolu, Ubisoft Nadeo had made it clear they would allow him to play as infractions only affect the account you played on, and not the person behind them. A policy which, if you think about it, is pretty absurd. The idea that you can cheat for over a decade, ruining the competition for everyone else, falsely achieving hundreds of world records, and if you ever get caught, you can gaslight everyone into still thinking you are innocent. And when that falls apart, you can avoid apologizing, log out, and then just make a new account. And you are welcome back to continue playing. What a great system that is. Beyond this point, it seemed like there was no more information to gain. If Nadeo or Riolu wasn't going to comment on the situation, then it seemed like we would never know who 92Bob was, and we would just have an anonymous person at the top of the leaderboards. Black Q had a strong suspicion that Riolu was the one behind the account, and he wanted him gone from the leaderboards. And on that mission, he was willing to go to greater extents than anyone else. The first thing Black Q did was make a new account, using Riolu's exact name tag, and proceeding to cheat just about every map in the game, to take the top spot away from 92Bob. This wasn't very effective, since the records were clearly cheated, and they were removed from the leaderboards. Though fortunately for Black Q, according to Nadeo's policy, he could just make a new account and keep playing. In his second attempt, he raised the stakes. When he sent Ubisoft Nadeo a mail, claiming to be the original owner of the 92Bob account, and asking to have all of his records removed. When Adeo asked him for further information, he was unable to verify to them that he owned the account, and so he didn't get as far as he hoped. But his third method was both clever and sneaky enough that it seemed likely that it could work. Black Q got the idea to send 92Bob a message directly, using the in-game mail service in Trackmania Nations Forever. In this mail to Bob, he said the following. New strategy on Desert B1, with a YouTube link. But not so fast. That link, if clicked, does not lead to a YouTube video, but instead a website that grabs your IP address, letting Black Ute know exactly where 92Bob was at. But as fate would have it, Bob never clicked the link. And so, if 92Bob is Riolu, then the following is all the evidence we have to go by. The fact that Bob only started playing actively after several big cheaters got exposed. The fact that Bob, for the most part, played the exact same maps as Riolu did to reach rank 1. The fact that he is able to achieve similar records to Riolu on those maps, where most other players don't get close. The fact that other top candidates for being Bob either quit the game, are too busy, or are simply playing actively on their main accounts. And the fact that Riolu has been cited online several times but never posting any records on his main account. The fact that Bob has a similar playstyle to Riolu, with habits like air braking multiple times in a jump, which is something that nobody else does, as it doesn't affect the car's trajectory at all. All leads me to believe that it most likely is Riolu who's behind the account. 
But that is just my opinion and we might never know for sure. If 92 Bob is indeed real loot, then it creates a very haunting picture. Of him sitting in his apartment, grinding track for track, spending hours every day to try to reach rank 1 again, perhaps trying to prove something to the community, perhaps just trying to prove something for himself, as a healing project, so that he can finally leave the game behind and move on. It's crazy to think how a few rash decisions can drastically change your life. Had Riolu admitted to cheating and owned up to his mistakes in 2021, he probably would be forgiven by now, as some of the other cheaters from that era have been, instead of being an outcast. Trabadia, who cheated the prestigious AO1 record, recently got back to competing for records on the leaderboards again. And Nico, who admitted to his mistakes immediately, was welcomed back not just by Nadeo to play the game, but also by the community, and he took it upon himself to grind until he reached the top spot of the solo ladder, recently dethroning Bob for rank 1 in the world. During the last two years, the community has also had a project to beat every old cheated records on the campaign tracks. And so far, they've managed to beat or tie 223 out of the 230 cheated records, almost making every individual leaderboard stronger or just as strong as it was when the cheating report was published. But if there's one lesson to take away from this story, it should be that anyone can make a mistake. But if you take accountability for it and work on improving yourself, you will get far more respect and compassion than if you continue to lie to others and to yourself. It isn't easy to admit to your own mistakes and shortcomings, to be completely honest with yourself after years of delusion. It takes bravery. But in the long run, it's much more preferable than letting pride cloud your judgment. And given enough time, you can regain everything and more than you had if you make an effort to change. Thanks for watching.